everyone welcome back to my channel so this week's demo is all about combining different stitch structures and yarns so obviously as with anything else in knit it's yarns that usually make the technique amazing so for this demo i've used tape yarn metallic viscose and this wire like viscose blend which is abigail on my website it's such a lovely yarn to knit with so do check it out now i personally love the back of the swatch which is this here i think it's got quite a bit of texture on there and the front is also nice but i personally prefer the back but again it's up to you what you make of it but definitely try and experiment with the yarns and the counts and make it your own well if you've got any questions then leave them in the comments below or dm me and i'll get them answered right let's get started right so you can go ahead and cast on in a particular layout so the layout that we're working with is three needles and one in between and three needles one in between okay so you start off by having three needles on both the edges then one in between a three one a three one and so on okay now you can of course go ahead and change it um to your design your pattern all right okay so we're gonna go ahead and grab a single prong transfer tool and we are going to start off by well just cast on and do a few rows i've already got a bit knitted on here but you can actually just cast on in whatever yarn okay and now we'll be starting off by doing some transfer work so we'll be transferring so we will be transferring the fourth needle to the right leaf three transfer the fourth leaf three transfer the fourth and just continue to work in this layout so do it to your right or to your left whichever you're comfortable doing and make sure all of your empty needles are pushed to the back of the bed, okay? Now go ahead and push the center needle out of the set of three. So within the set of three needles, go ahead and push the center needle forward. Once you've done so, we are going to go ahead and grab our metallic viscose yarn. So I am using two ends of this metallic viscose that is called I Hate Mondays on my website. I'm using the color black. On your carriage, go ahead and put your holding cams onto hold position. On my silver reed, it goes from two to one on both sides. On your brother, it goes from N to H. And I'm gonna go ahead and knit four rows. So once you've done so, go ahead and push all of those working needles forward. Make sure all of your latches are open and with the help of your needle pusher, or you can do, do this with your hands, just push the needle slightly over to the back so the stitches lay just behind the latch. So we are going to do the elongated stitch, okay? Now, if you're unaware of how to do the stitch, I do have a free tutorial up on YouTube, so go ahead and check it out if you need to. We are going to be using the cotton tape yarn to do the stitch. So place the yarn across the needle that you've pushed forward and individually knit them. So the first three stitches, we'll be doing them as a normal stitch length, okay? Just a standard stitch length and then the next three will be moving it all the way to the back to create the elongated stitch then three short stitches three long stitches three short and three long and then just continue in this manner so three elongated stitches three normal stitches three elongated and three normal So just pull the stitches down so it lays nice and flat and go ahead and push the empty needles that are in non-working position all the way forward onto hold position. Move your cams back to hold position. And take that metallic viscose again and knit four rows on hold.
Now we'll be using the next yarn for this one. So it's the Abigail, it's the wire like this case. And I'm going to go ahead and make four rows on board this one. Sorry, my tension for all of this is on number four. So once you've done so, go ahead and grab the black metallic viscose again. And we are now going to knit two rows on normal knit position. So you switch your cams back to normal knit and knit two. So that's your first little bit of pattern done. Now it's essentially a repeat, but we're just swapping some colors around and we're going to do some cable work on the elongated stitch, okay? So go ahead and transfer every fourth needle over to your right or to your left. Again, we're just repeating what we've done with very slight changes. And push your center needle of the set of three forward onto hold position. Swap your yarn to the metallic viscose. This time we'll be using the gold. Make sure your cams are on hold position. Knit four rows. Go ahead and push those working needles forward and do your elongated stitch. So three short and three long. So you start off by doing a short stitch length on the edges and then three long, three short, three long. Pull these down and now we're going to swap these stitches around. Okay, so on the longer stitch lengths here, I'm going to grab two single prong transfer tools and simply swap them over. So place the right on the left and the left on the right, just like you do with cables. Do so on all of those longer stitch lengths. Okay, so now we've got to go ahead and push those empty needles into hold position. So push them all the way forward and make sure that your cams are on hold position. Go ahead and change your yarn to the Abigail, which is um, the wire-like yarn, just that one here. And we're going to go ahead and knit four rows. Now move your cams back to normal knit position. So back to two. And now we're going to knit two rows on a normal knit position in the metallic gold. And that is basically our repeat. So that is basically the repeat, which starts from about here. So that is basically the repeat pattern, which starts from down here to up there, okay? So I do hope that was clear and I do hope you've enjoyed it. I think the choice of yarns again, always, always matter. So try and experiment and see how you get on. Do feel free to send me any questions if you have any and I hope you enjoy knitting it. Right, happy knitting, bye.